of the advantages of the VATA pad is that all the layers of closure are represented. So we not only have the skin and dermis, we also have some fat, which feels very lifelike. And then deeper we see the white, what I will call fascia, or the lining of the muscle. And below is some red, which represents muscle. Generally, the strength of closure, especially in deeper wounds, is going to be that deeper white fascia. So if we just close the skin here, there almost would be this potential space underneath where fluid could collect, uh, or the skin would have so much tension on it, it would ultimately would pull apart. This is especially true over joints, uh, where you're bending the arm or bending the knee, and you might pull things apart. So what we'll do here is we'll first close the fascia. Because fascia is generally so deep to the skin, I usually don't bury the knot. You certainly could, but you don't have to. So for simplicity's sake, I just do simple suture here. Uh, some, in some situations, we might use a permanent suture here. Uh, certainly, you can use absorbable as well, so it's kind of surgeon's choice. And remember, you're pretty deep here, so you're going to want to not only lock the nut, but then when you're pulling things down, it's almost easier to pull it along the wound itself. Otherwise, the skin may uh, prevent you from tying all the way down. So we're going to put a couple of interrupted simple stitches here to close the fascia. And again, you sort of put a stitch in, see what it does, put a stitch in, see what it does. You know, that's the way uh, that we do it in surgery. Sometimes you need a lot of stitches, sometimes you don't. Stitches are foreign body, so potentially if you're worried about infection and things like that, you'd use an absorbable suture so it's not going to hang around, or at least less permanent suture. If you're not, is not locking, remember you can always throw an extra throw, like three throws, or you can just do what I just did, which is sort of lock it down by pulling on it. Once the fascia is closed, you kind of have a decision to make. You can go right to the dermis, or you can look for, in some parts of the body, there's what's called scarpus fascia. So you could potentially close another layer. Here, I'm going to close the deep dermis, and it's going to include some of that fatty tissue, which would theoretically be like a scarpus fascia. But the dermis is the strength here. Again, this is a buried knot, because this is the next layer of closure. So we started deep and went superficial, and then superficial and deep. You can see there is some tension on this wound, and I think that's what I like about this uh, demonstration uh, and this type of model is that it is realistic and you can set this tension uh, as much as you want and early on you'll be able to close the ones without tension pretty well and as you start moving along you want to put more and more tension on and see how good your knots are and how good your suturing is. Another a word of advice I would give you is notice how I'm going to the ends first. The ends have the least amount of tension, the middle of the wound gapes open the most and I think most of the time people want to close the middle first if you sort of sneak up on it though and start closing the ends first, you'll take the tension off so by the, by the time you get to that middle stitch, it'll have the least amount of tension on it. So here we have two and I'm gonna put one more. Notice I'm grabbing deep dermis, starting deep, coming superficial, and I'll grab right above the dermis on the other side, come out the same distance, and when I tie it together then, what we're doing is getting these skin edges closer together and getting them closer together at about the same level so that when we're finally closed and the skin is closed, we have a beautiful closure. Okay, so now we have the dermis closed. Now we're going to have our skin closure. This is your closure of choice. Uh, you can do a running suture. You can do interrupted. This will totally be up to you here because it's a complex closure and I believe it's under a lot of tension. I'm using the vertical mattress. I told you this is probably the best suture for wounds that are difficult to close and under a lot of tension because you're grabbing a lot of tissue to a lot of tissue and because you're starting far away and because your second bite is close what that does when you tie it it literally everts the wound and so the skin edges pout out which gives you proper healing if you uh, don't place your sutures properly the skin can turn in and you know epidermis the outer layer of skin touching epidermis is not going to heal so you'll take your stitches out and your wound will kind of break open and you'll wonder why it's because you didn't approximate your edges